Today is shoulder day. It's actually shoulder and arm day. I'm training them on the same day currently, but this video is gonna focus on the shoulder portion. So I have done the bro split. That's the, the workout split I've used the most. But the, the second split is chest and back on the same day, shoulders, arms on the same day, legs, abs, repeat. And that's the split that I have currently gone to. I was doing the bro split, now I'm doing this split. This split, I'm gonna train everything twice a week, obviously. It's a three day split, so it can easily be done twice per week. So basically you're doing half of a shoulder workout one day and then the next day half the second half of that shoulder workout and it's basically the same thing with all of the other body parts and you got to keep it simple you can't over complicate things and do all these different exercises you really only need a few exercises so i'm going to show you i'm going to tell you and show you the exercise that you actually need to do and you can do this workout twice per week uh, for shoulders, this workout can be done twice per week. Other body parts, I split it up like upper chest focused, lower chest focused. Uh, for back, like thickness, width, I switch it up like that for those body parts. But for shoulders, you can do this exact same workout twice per week on arm day. Or if you prefer to train shoulders with a different body part, train it with that body part, but just do it twice per week for the, the purpose of this workout and how much volume it is. The amount of volume and work that you get from doing it once, it needs to be done twice per week. So the first exercise I'm gonna do is gonna be overhead press, and the number one variation is gonna be machine. I like plate-loaded machine. You could do the regular machine with the weight stack if you wanted to too. Uh, the reason why I say machine over a different variation like barbell or military press or push press or dumbbell press is just because the machine is the safest and you're not going to mess it up because the machine you're locked in it moves how it moves you just got to go through that range of motion now you should move your elbows forward you want your elbow like if you're looking at it from the side elbow out in front of hand that way you basically have no risk of injury. Or if you're going like this and pressing like that, risk, high risk of injury. But if that elbow is out in front of the hand on the way down, the bottom it should look like this, then you basically have no risk for injury. I recommend doing four sets, like four good sets, maybe a warm up set. Or if you want, you can go higher reps, lower weight every set so an example of that would be first set is like one plate with 15 15 reps and then you'd add weight 12 add weight 10 add weight do a good heavier set of only eight reps so uh, the higher reps the lower the weight and the weight goes up reps go down so that's a way you could do that too i do like to do that as opposed to just like three sets of 10 or four sets of 10 or four sets of 12. That is uh, a way that I like to work out because you're pushing yourself with to get 15, it's high rep, so it's like a warm up, but <clears throat> it's also kind of like a working set too because it's gonna be hard to get those 15. It does kind of get full shoulder, but it primarily gets front delt. And since front delts are the most overdeveloped part of your shoulder most likely, you're only gonna need to do one exercise that primarily works the front delt, and that's gonna be that overhead press. So no more front delt focused exercises. Uh, I, I like doing front delt focused exercises, but they're honestly not necessary and kind of a waste of time if I'm honest, even though I enjoy doing them. Now we're gonna go on to side delt and rear delt. I like to superset these, you don't have to but I like to superset my rears with my sides. Uh, we're gonna do face pulls, and we're gonna superset those with uh, cable side lateral raises. You can either do side laterals or you can do machine. Machine is a little bit less complicated because the machine, you just have to push your, your arms up like that to the side, but cables are a little bit more complicated. You kinda gotta make sure you get the right 
you kind of pull out to the side at the right angle. You got to make sure it takes a little more concentration. It takes a little more practice, but I like the cables. Or if you have a, a side lateral machine, the machine works great too. It's a little bit more basic and easier to, to master. But I'm gonna superset those. I superset those four, four supersets. The face pulls are great when done correctly. You don't wanna be pulling like this. You wanna be up like a front double bicep. So your hand should be up above your head like you're flexing front double bicep. And with those, I usually do maybe one warm up set and then I get the right weight and I'm just doing as many as I can. Usually between 12 to 15 is where I like to be. With the side laterals, it's you know 12 to 15, 10 to 15. Same thing, maybe just one warm up set, feel out the weight, decide how much weight I want. And you know the side, the rear you need too because it's the most underdeveloped and we do two side delt because it's gonna make you look wider and bigger so that's why we do two side delt and two rear delt. So we do, we do that superset, and then we want to hit two rear and two sides. So we're going to do another superset. I like to do reverse. I call it a reverse cable crossover. You could do this. Uh, it's basically the same motion as like a pec deck. So you could do pec deck if you have access to a pec deck. If not, go to the cables and do cable rear delt flies. Uh, the reason why I like either the cable or the pec deck is because of the constant tension. Uh, dumbbells, I do enjoy doing dumbbell rear flies, but there isn't a whole lot of tension. There's tension at the top, but when you get to the bottom, there's no tension. So the range of motion where there's actually tension on the rear delt are very minimal. So it's not a great exercise, although I like it. It's not a great exercise, so I'm not going to do it. Instead, I'm going to do cable where there's constant tension. Like I said, either the cable or the reverse pec deck, both are great. The pec deck, obviously, it's easier to master because you're locked in. Cable takes a little bit more focus and a little more practice, but it's a great variation and it's my favorite variation. So that's the one that I choose to do. And I'm gonna superset that with dumbbell side lateral raises. Now, if you have imbalances, you can do a single arm. To, to work out the imbalance, you're gonna start with your weak side and you're gonna do as many as you can get. If you're aiming for 10 to 12, maybe you only get 10 with your left arm. So you go to your weak arm or your strong arm and you're only, you're gonna match it. So if I only got 10 with my left arm, which is my weak arm, even if I could do 12 with my right arm, I'm only gonna do 10. That way it gives that weak arm a chance to catch up. And I'm going to do four more supersets. I like four sets. Four supersets, maybe just one warm up to, to feel out the weight, see how much weight I'm going to need. And then I'll work in that 12 to 15 rep range, 10 to 15 maybe. So that's how I'm going to do it. So that's the workout you can do. You can do it twice per week. Uh, it's, it's more of a myth than a fact that you need to constantly confuse and change up your muscles. Uh, that's not necessarily true. You don't have to switch up all the time. You're gonna get better results if you focus on the same workouts and the same movements and improve them. Also, those are like the most, like the base. That's like the base you need. Those exercises, those are the best ones to actually grow your shoulders. There are other exercises I like, but they're just not as good. So anything besides that is not necessary. That doesn't mean you can't do them sometimes, but they're not necessary. If you just stick to what's necessary to stimulate your muscles the best, which is those exercises, you will see good results. Other things you can do to see better results on your shoulders is you gotta keep them loose. So make sure you stretch them out. Make sure you, you know, stretch out, warm up your rotator cuff, stretch out your shoulders, and you can even roll them out on the foam roller get on your side and you can roll out your your side delts you can twist your arm to the side and you can hit that you're going to roll on that rear delt you can roll on the front delt so make sure you keep them nice and loose another thing you can do is the more blood you can get to the muscle the better obviously so you can take a great pre-workout supplement to help you get that blood flowing to the shoulders and the more blood the more opportunity for for growth and for development to happen so i use 
Evo Gen. This is the EVP X or the EVP 3D, which is better for the pump because it's a non stem. You're gonna get a better pump with that non stem. This particular pre workout, I found that I get the best pump with. Now, if you want caffeine, they got EVP Extreme too with, with caffeine. You'll also get a good pump. I feel like this just gets you slightly better pump. If you want to get some of that, evogennutrition.com, code Casey to save you money and to make me money. So you can use that code. Link in the description below. That's the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, rewatch this video, watch like all my videos so I get that watch time. We're getting closer. We're not close, but we're getting closer to a thousand. We're in the 800s now for subscribers. So probably gonna hit, probably definitely gonna hit a thousand within the next few months. This summer probably for sure. So unless something happens, but I don't see that happening. So you gotta subscribe and you gotta, you gotta give me that watch time too. So watch the full video. Cause that, that's what really needs to go up the watch time.